Well, hello everybody and happy holidays. Can you believe that it is already the holidays again here in 2019? It is one of my most favorite times of the year. I love dressing in holiday colors, knitting with holiday Christmassy yarn. I love the music and this year you may have heard I'm having a fiber flash mob on December 14th in New York City where the knitters are getting together to do a dance, wearing their holiday Christmassy knitwear, just to show New York that we are here, we knit, and there is a charity knitting aspect to it where you can knit something and we'll find a place to donate it or leave it for someone to find it. Very excited about that, but in the spirit of the holidays, I was already sort of thinking about this when it was the New York Sheep and Wool Festival in October, and I didn't do a lot of shopping at the New York Sheep and Wool Festival because it's one of my favorite events to document the people and the sweaters. Maybe you've heard of Tell Me About Your Rhinebeck Sweater video, which is one of my most popular videos here on the program Christy Glass Knits. So as I was leaving the fairgrounds, I did happen upon a booth and it was the Lana Plante booth. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I'm just going to, I'll show you here. It says Lana Plante and it says farmed yarns. And I do believe also that this is naturally dyed. It says custom mill spun small for small farm sourced naturally dyed. So I picked out these two Rambouillet skeins knowing I was going to make a Christmas cowl with them. And they both said worsted weight. This one is heavier, this one is lighter. I don't think it ended up being too much of a problem with my finished object, but I did notice a difference in the two, even though they both said worsted and the same amount of yardage. So I don't know what that's about. This yarn is so vibrant for being naturally dyed. I was so impressed with it that I actually ended up purchasing about six different skeins. Some of them are fingering weight and have much more yardage so they can just be a shawl on their own. But I knew with just two skeins, I'd only be able to make a cowl. So I went on the search for the perfect pattern. I expected to find two color, color work holiday cowls out there and I just kept coming up short. I could not find the perfect thing. So one night as I was sitting at my desk, I started doing searches on Google of cross stitch Christmas samplers. So a sampler is like a group of stitches that are kind of showcased kind of in a pattern. So usually it's rows, maybe it will be boxes, uh, but mostly like kind of like horizontal rows. So I found a lot of different sources. Some would say like Noel and have maybe some borders or some little stitch shapes like holly or trees or reindeer or something like that. And I just kept finding them and just wanting to make them into a cowl, but didn't find that pattern anywhere. So I did out some graph paper and I started to sketch. And after a while, I came up with a pattern for my Christmas cowl. I'm going to show it to you right now. I love how it turned out. It's so perfectly Christmassy with this red and green. You can see on the bottom, I start with some ribbing and then everything is charted. So I did hearts, trees, reindeer, and stars for mine. And I published the pattern because I had such a wonderful response when I put it out onto an Insta story. The pattern is called Choose Your Own Adventure Christmas Cowl. And the reason it's called Choose Your Own Adventure is because the pattern includes not only the motifs that you see here, but more. There's four of the shapes here, but there are, I think, eight total in the pattern. And then the border shapes, there are three shown here and there are seven or eight in the pattern. So you can mix and match whatever you want and make it longer or shorter. This is about 11 inches long and it fits nicely on my neck. I run cold, so this actually transitions really well from outside to inside. I tend to wear my cowls almost the whole day. I also often wear a hat all day inside. In the winter time, I just, feel cozy and I love it and this isn't too tight. I don't really enjoy a turtleneck. I will wear one but I don't totally love a turtleneck. So I need a little air for my neckwear and this cowl is so nice. The farmed yarn holds the shape really well. I don't know how a superwash would behave but I do love that I picked this soft rambouillet to be the base of my cowl.
I do think it would be really stunning as a cream base with a color or a variety of colors. I think there's so much that you can choose here with how you play with the color, the structure, if you make it double the size and then maybe it will be a little bit more cramped up here and to the outside eye it just kind of looks like a two color cowl but when you spread it out you know that it has a story to it. The other thing I really love about it is that it doesn't have to be Christmas so you can choose to only do the trees or trees and the snowflake or you can just do the stars or only the hearts and so you can really customize it for any holiday or occasion or whatever you're feeling it doesn't have to be Christmas so it is still going to be called choose your own adventure Christmas cowl but just know you can use your imagination to customize it Now, when you're choosing your motifs I would just suggest kind of alternating between like a fuller motif and a not fuller motif. So what I mean by that is you can see here I did the hearts and the reindeer with the tree and the star in between and you can see the star has a little more air, it has more edge to it as does the tree and then the hearts and the reindeer kind of take up more space. So I thought that kind of told a graphic story at least from afar that was important for artistic impression. I also, you can see this heart is not the full length of the tree motif and that happens just a few times in the pattern. The heart and the snowflake for sure, maybe the ornament as well. So in those cases, I did less of the main color in between the borders so that it kind of, your eye, kind of tricks the eye into thinking it is as long as the tree, if that makes sense. I explain all of this in the pattern, don't you worry, it's all there. And I just wanted to share it here in case you hadn't seen it on Instagram or elsewhere. If you're looking for a really fun holiday knit to work on this season, if you're a Christmas knitter like I am, this might appeal to you. So I will put a link to it underneath this video. You can check it out. I also have some Christmas stockings in both crochet and knitting available in my Ravelry store, as well as a little tutu for baby and toddler and a skull hat. There's a couple more in there. If you are one of my patrons, check our blog because I have given you a coupon code for all of my patterns and I would love for you to be able to use that through the beginning of December. And I just wanted to make a note on this yarn. Unfortunately, this yarn <laughs> shed so much. It is the strangest thing I've ever experienced with a yarn. I was skeining up another naturally dyed yarn and, and it also did the same thing, which it shed like powder and dust. So I don't know what that was about. I was coated in dust after knitting on it all over my pants, all over my desk where I was sitting at the time because I think I was editing while I was knitting, which I often do. And there was dust everywhere and I don't understand what that is. So I was so relieved to wash it when I was done. But this yarn shed. So if someone could explain to me what that's about, I'm guessing it has to do with the natural dye process because I've never had that happen before. The only other time that happens is maybe with sort of a farm yarn and the the shedding is more like hay or like kind of farmy substances. I've seen bugs in my yarn before. <laughs> but this was different and it was very strange. So that is one thing about this yarn that I will mention. It was it was very different for me. Anyway, that's just a note on the yarn, but this is my first Rhinebeck finished object. Choose your own adventure Christmas cowl. So happy to present it to you. Please go check it out. The link is underneath this video. And thank you as always for checking in to Christy Glass Knits. See you next time. Bye.